hands of Notre Dame. The fishermen fishing something a man they to the bells of Notre Dame. To the big bells as loud as the thunder. You're welcome to it. 
but how wonderful it must be out there. Ah, no, no, not, not for me. Why not? It's too dangerous. The boy is right. Don't encourage him. Why shouldn't we? For Quasimodo, the cathedral was not only his home, but his universe. It was peopled with figures of marble, with kings and saints, monsters and demons. The, the saints, saints blessed, blessed him, and, and the, the monsters protected him. Today, it's the Feast of Food! <laughs> Someday? Maybe. He always says someday. Never today. Besides, you shouldn't have to ask for permission to go outside. Just put one foot in front of the other and sneak out! I can't. Quasimodo. Good morning, Quasimodo. Morning, Master. Were you talking to someone? No. Just my friends. Mm -hmm. Your friends, and what are your friends made of? Stone. And can stone talk back? No. That's right. What kind of conversation is that? It takes two people to communicate, my boy. And who is that other person for you? You, you monster. Right again. The world is wicked. 
It's I alone whom you can trust in this whole city.
I couldn't catch the other one. Arrest him. On what charge? Magistrate! If it were up to me, he wouldn't be allowed on the streets at all, or he'd be hunted for sport. Like the gypsy dog he is. Take him away. Archdeacon Frollo, I'm Captain Phoebus de Martin. Oh, Captain! <laughs> Only just arrived and you've already caught a criminal. You waste no time. Welcome to the Cathedral Guard. I'm grateful for the opportunity to serve you, Lord. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Your early arrival's most auspicious. The pestilence of these gypsies grows more <coughs> dangerous every day. Captain, you and I have a task we share. Stopping them and their proliferation. Paris looks to us, us, bring us straight to crime. Streets of crime, war and loss. There is no time for rest and
боимся. I ask for fame, I ask for glory. 
you disappeared in a puff of smoke. Don't believe everything you see. Where do you think you're going? <sighs> Calm down. <laughs> Give me a chance to apologize. For what? This. <clears throat> oh! No! <clears throat> Still, I am impressed. You fight almost as well as a man. Funny. I was going to say the same thing about you! <laughs> It's my job to protect this cathedral. From dirty gypsies like me. You said it. I didn't. But I do have my orders to follow. And if there's one thing a good soldier knows, it's how to follow orders. Who said anything about my being a good soldier? Are you saying you're not? I'm saying I have a job to do. It's much better than the one it got me out of. Burying your comrades in unmarked graves. You can look at me, you know. We don't all cast spells. I know that. Where are you from, anyway? <laughs> You're asking a gypsy? I know as I come from nothing. Just like you. <gasps> now, where are you going? To see that boy. Why can't you mind your own business? It has to be somebody's business. Hello? Are you up there?
does not do me. Oh, Hershey, well, you know about people and their feelings, my boy. Feelings? I. Nothing. Quasimodo, do you. Do you ever have thoughts, impure thoughts? Impure? Oh, we're like you, already grown in body, possessing those urges and ideas that come to a young man. You must stop them! You must stop these feelings! You must now follow in the footsteps of your father! He was weak! And you have his corruption inside of you! Now you listen to me, Quasimodo. I'm warning you about that girl. She's dangerous. She was put in our paths for a reason. Contemptos. Promise me you won't think of her again. Emergency. Promise me! I promise! Send the city to sleep. Good night. Good night, Master. But despite his admonition to Quasimodo, Frollo himself could not stop thinking about her. He began to walk the streets night after night, unable to bring himself to return alone to his cold, dark chambers. He barely knew what he was looking for. But he could not resist. He thought he saw her. Everywhere. Until one night, walking down an unknown alley, he drew closer to the most unsavory part of the city. Passing lovers embracing in the shadows. The sound of distant music coming from within a tavern called La Honde.
friends easily, don't you? I have that way about me. Too bad. It makes seeing you that much more difficult. Does that disappoint you? Does that surprise you? Frankly, yes. Me too. <laughs> well, now that you found me, what are you going to do about it? I told you. I'm not as good as everybody likes to think.
nicknamed the Prudent, received a visitor who arrived unannounced. Your Majesty. Oh. <laughs> My astrologer told me I'd have an unexpected guest. <laughs> Your Majesty, there is a gypsy witch who is endangering our citizens with her sorcery. She must be stopped. I need special powers to protect the people and the church. Frollo, you are a good man, but you know how I hate to be overly hasty. I do, Your Majesty, but I will be careful. Lest the people think you are weak, and the various burghers around the city feel the need to get the upper hand. Very well. Do what you feel you must, but be well prudent. prudent. I assure you, Your Majesty, I will do only what is necessary. <laughs> Oh, no. 
We must find them. Find them if we have to burn down all of Paris.
Master, my No! Master! Please, Pasi, no, no. Please help me. Was that you? 
Yes, master. Were you talking to someone? Just my friend. <laughs> oh, your friends. <laughs> Today was quite an eventful day, wasn't it? Oh, yes, night too. Oh, yes, the fires. Couldn't be helped, I'm afraid. I'm glad you were up here, safe from it all. A story! What? A story! Exact! Afro! Aphrodites! Oh, good memory. But you seem distracted, my boy. Is something troubling you? Troubling? No. no. <laughs> was a murder you know I'm looking for Esmeralda for her own good. But if you had any idea where she might be, it would be of great help to her and to me. Did she say anything when she spoke to you? Did she tell you where she stays? I, 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 yes. And the hunchback looked his master in his piercing eye. What's the motto? And for the very first time in his life, he told a lie. No. the answer then. Don't be frightened, my boy. I'm not angry with you. I know what little choice you had. You were seduced. Seduced by Esmeralda. I know you don't mean to be bad. And you feel gratitude for all I've done. Why, there are times I almost think of you as my son. Excuse me, Your Grace. Don't interrupt me here. Beg pardon, but I have good news. My men believe they have found the gypsy's hiding place. The Court of Miracles. <laughs> yes, they call it so. Well, then I'm afraid their miracles have run out. We will attack at dawn. You see, my boy, everything will be fine. We will find her, never fear, and then I will rejoin you here to cheer the capture in our cheery sanctuary. I have to find Esmeralda. I have to warn her and the others. You? No! I... You? How can you possibly? You can only speak. You can barely walk. <laughs> you don't know where anything in the city is. I, know, I see all from up here. Besides, I have a clue. It's a map. He gave me. Give that to me. No, it's not that he gave to me. Yes, but I needed to find her. I will find her. You? Don't be ridiculous. Something must be done. Surely you can see. Realistically, who's got the knack here? And clearly, I'm the one who can save the day. You'd be in the way. Hey, come back here. And so, Quasimodo. And Phoebus. Finally made their way through the darkening streets of Paris. Though the hunchback felt a thrill of fear at once more setting foot outside of Notre Dame. But you once again beyond the parapets of stone. Wishing I were feeling so much braver. Stealing through the twisted streets of night with the unknown. Still, I must do anything to save her. Creeping past the ghostly fountains beside which beggars slept. They ducked into the shadows to avoid being seen. By a pair of women at their windows. Holding candles which sputtered in the gathering fog. The curfew had sounded long ago, and the streets were becoming blacker and more deserted every moment. They could distinguish nothing of the mass of buildings, except the black roofs. At strange, acute angles. And the labyrinth of alleys and bridges, like a ball of thread tangled by a cat. I think you've got us completely lost. Madonna, you should be right here. Here. Where? Hey! Where the hell are we? It looks like cemetery. Oh, you've taken us completely in the wrong direction.
What's that? I don't hear anything. Ah! <laughs> Welcome to the Court of Miracles. Very clever you found our little hideaway. Too bad you won't live to talk about it. Get them inside! Terrible place where the scoundrels of Paris collect in the lair. Maybe you've heard of that mythical place called the Court of Miracles. The Court of Miracles, brother, you're there. From bees in a hive, here in the court of miracles, where it's a miracle if you get out alive. The ugly hunchback, he's back. What? I have to admit to a bit of a pattern, but we must protect it all cause now we're secret. It's our lives are yours! So you're going to bed! Please! These men are my friends! More than we are, apparently! Hey! What hey, 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 How could you betray us like this? I didn't betray you. No, what would you call telling them our hiding place? Yes, 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 yes. I knew you were trouble. You should be grateful to her. We've come to warn you. Frollo knows your hiding place. He plans on attacking at dawn. Keep calm. How do you know this? I'm not to told me. <laughs> and what should we believe, either of you? You, your Frollo slave, and him? He's a soldier. We don't trust soldiers. He's not a soldier anymore. I'm not as much an outcast as you. Copan, if this is true, we don't have much time. We need to get ready to leave. I thought we'd have had a few years here at least. Yes, we must move quickly. Yasha! Esmeralda! Go pack now. Pack? You're going with of him? Of course he is! No matter what, we won't leave one of our own behind. Thank you, Cohen. Yes, no. What would you have me do? Come with me. Where? I don't know. We could make a life together. You really are a dreamer, aren't you? Esmeralda, I hide you. I keep saying. What's wrong? Maybe in crypts. I know all. You think you, Quasimodo, but it would be too dangerous. And not just for me, for you too. And if you won't come with me, I'll go with you. You? You, you can't do that, Phoebus. Why not? There's nothing for me here anymore. Maybe there never was. Yes, but to become like one of us. You're crazy. You don't know what you'd be facing. Actually, I've gotten a pretty good idea over the last few weeks. But I don't care. Here we are. Nearly strangers. From two worlds that have rarely met. But somehow... You have made me someone new Traveling far on a journey That's the longest I've taken yet Now I'm asking if you will let me come with you Though our lives are tattered and torn All I'm feeling now is reborn I must be in a place of miracles Where the blind can see In a place of miracles Miracle you brought to me The soldier and the gypsy Locked in an embrace In a place
gypsy witch, you're rousing me The foolish wish to set you free I'll take you somewhere I can be your sanctuary I will save you, sorceress, and raise you up to holiness Together we will share a blessed sanctuary Esmeralda? Captain. <coughs> he must go. Frederick. My friend, couldn't you? If I offered you a good life saved, you could. Keep the money, Captain. I'll come back in time. So little time left to say goodbye. <clears throat> so let's say it while we have the chance. I've known soldiers not half as brave as you. <laughs> I don't feel very brave.
prisoner has been found guilty of entering the city of Paris illegally, guilty of stabbing a soldier of the church, and guilty of the crime of witchcraft. The sentence is death. I will give you this opportunity to recant and save yourself.
gone. There were discovered two skeletons, one of which held the other in its embrace. The first was that of a woman with a woven band around her neck. The second was that of a man whose spinal column was crooked. When they tried to detach the skeleton he held in his arms, he crumbled to dust. Oh. 